All right, folks, we are back. Some more particle fleet emergence. So let's get back to the uh, story. We're about to head to mission seven. Uh, so let's see your description. Particulate's behavior begins to alter and the crew gets answers it does not like. Let's see what this is all about. What is this? Blue gunk. That almost looks like Creeper. Get some more amp gems. What are these things? I don't know. And hey, I remember these. Um, these were those. Uh, that one mission, in Creeper World 3, had like. I don't know, 15 of them or something, and they were like the little communication tower things that it was uh, concentrating creeper over. Alright, so it looks like we got, what, six emitters? No, there's another one right there. Uh, maybe this stuff is similar to the Digitalis, since it's like hooked up to the emitters. I don't know. Um, some more technology, it looks like another Omni. We have our own emitter. And, oh hey, the amp jumps carry over. That's nice. All right, let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Um, so this is Director Danu. My gods, this system is unlike any other we've seen. Scanners are detecting a kind of spatial structure. The structure appears to be a crystallized version of the particulate. I didn't encounter this in my simulation. I can probably work out the mechanics, but the pattern this struck is showing would require some intention or plan on the part of the particulate. I just need to know how best to kill it. I can modify our cannons to fire a special shot at the struck, but the missiles will be useless. Correct, Director Rogan. Note as well that our ship's hulls will interact with the struck. I can also modify our lathes to destroy the struck, and of course any benign particulate would also annihilate the struck. Great, so ram into it. Works for me. Everyone else, uh, ah, everyone also observe the sensors. There is a benign form of struck in this system. It is systematically placed around well-organized energy sources. There are also two intact structures near the large masses of struck. Scanners indicate they are offline. I don't know what they are for, but it might be possible to charge and activate them if we capture the nearby energy sources. True, I believe this system was the site of a great battle. The remnants of this battle are all that is left. Let's collect what intelligence and technology we can and leave as quickly as possible. Uh, amen to that. Don't like the look of all this crap. Okay, let's get our corporate HQ in here. Uh, speed up a little bit. I just feel that X1 is too slow. Alright, we will build lathes so that we can go grab each side. Not too worried about building them both since we have these, uh, whoa. And that tears right through it. Didn't even slow it down at all. Let's get Omnis going. And, oh, yeah, these things. It looks like they mire the land themselves. So it's like the uh, particulates version of an Omni. Um, oh, well, right here. Yeah, these structures on land appear to be creating mire. Fascinating. This means the technology is similar to our Omnis, but they aren't Omnis. I've never seen them before or anything like them. Let me help. I'll move some lays in range and take them out. I mean, just pretend they were never there. <laughs> Oops. Shakes head. Uh, but that would not be possible, Director Ogun, for we have already observed them. Also shakes head. <laughs> uh, I don't know if an Omni, if one Omni can outmire that or not, but I don't have any other use for the rest of my Omnis, so I may as well just build them there. Alright, go build these energy mines. Make yourself useful. Uh, now I need some actual firepower. Oh yeah, it's definitely going to outmire. Multiple Omnis should do it just fine. Alright, let's fly these guys up, build our cruisers. Hey, it has a little gun on it. I guess they did mention that, I just didn't think it would actually shoot at my mire. 
Um, whoa. It's like building it out. So this kind of is like the Digitalis then, I guess. At least that's how I'm going to think of it. Um, nothing really seems to be coming around the corners, so... It's basically going to be full speed ahead up front, I guess. Uh, let's get these amp gems on here. Got two more, so it looks like I'll be able to mount them to the Joven and the Destroyer as well. Um. No. Oh, what's this? Oh, she's talking about these things. These derelict structures near the enemy fortifications appear to be ancient. Their purpose isn't clear. Scans indicate an internal structure that is vaguely similar to a rift jump engine, but is very different. If they were weapons and they were built by some crew, perhaps they may be of use. It's hard to say. I say we take the nearby energy sources and let them charge and activate. Agreed, Director Rogan. Let's engage. Do that. I'm just waiting for my micro tank to build here. Oh yeah, man. My Omni's totally outpaced this thing. I guess I do have multiples going though. Let's see, we will need the lays over here though, if we want those amp gems. And also to build these energy mines. So let's build the energy mines first, I think. Oh, don't die, don't die. Alright, energy mine is up. cash received. It is very corrupt, but it has a massive degree of redundancy. It seems to be designed to survive for eons. It is a primer with a large parity redundancy and includes a basic lexicon and instructions for building a language. That's interesting. <laughs> Any weapons described? No, I'm not sure. The primer is intact and describes a language that we used in various systems millennia ago. Nothing new there, but the creators of this cache must have assumed it would be lost for a very long time that whoever found it would need a language primer. The rest of the message is far too corrupt to understand. However, I believe this cache was meant to form part of a parody volume. If we find other caches like it, I will eventually be able to reconstruct the entire message. We might get a big gun, amongst other things. Sounds like a priority to me. Man, this Ogan guy. I like him. Uh, your enthusiasm is appreciated, Director Ogan, but my hope is we will get some more fundamental answers about the particulate, the origin world, and just what is going on in redacted space. And then maybe a big gun too. <laughs> uh, Alright, this crap is starting to go a little haywire. So let's move our ships forward. Oh, look at that! It's rebuilding uh, our little wall here. That's kind of cool, I guess. So how about I move this guy up build it with his leg. Yeah. In the meantime, let's get these two amp gems, I think. Come on. Oh, well, 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 no, I already don't have it. The Joven. Do we have anything else that I can put them on? And the Destroyer. Good. Okay. I just put a Omni up there and it can lay that up. Same with this side. Good. Um, oh yeah, this thing. Plot the other Omni over there. Grab that. Uh, additional Omni. Nothing I can really do with it this mission, but hey. Build it anyway. Why not? Alright, what is this? Clicked in a new ship schematic. Very interesting design. Primitive, but I can see how it might be effective. This hammer is just the tool we need. She's designed to ram through struck, particulate, or anything else that might get in her way. Perhaps we just found the hammer of the mythological Thor god some people carry on about. Well, he can't have it back. Okay. Let's just give this thing a try then. Um, 
right now I kind of want the particulate spread around all over my back line, I think, just in case it starts to try, yeah, like this. In case it starts to try and sneak around the corner until I start taking out, like, this better. Then I'll probably build some grabbers and use it over here. Uh, Alright, so this is being built. It looks like it has absolutely no guns. Huh. It's literally just a ram. Alright. Would it have killed them to really... Oh wait, no, it does have the little... Alright, so it has something... It, it, it has the... I forget what those things are called. The little beams that re... Destroy the the plasma gunk, but it doesn't doesn't really have any effect on particles. I think it just slows them down. All right, well, let's uh, give it a try. Ah, uh, seemed pretty effective. Does what it needs to do. All right. Basically, looks like it's a meat shield, more or less. Come on, get up in there. Nothing wrong with having a nice shield every now and then. Alright, now that that's gone, let's get our grabbers going. Direction to all of this now will be helpful. Um, let's see. So it looks like that one got destroyed. So perhaps we'll try this one down here first. So let's go down here. Uh, throw your particles at me. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, and then they can reformat the, this. Oh look, it's charging this up. What does that do? Whoa, what is... What's going on here? Is that gonna kill the emitter? No, oh, whoa! It's a crap load of nine particles. Interesting. Well, it did a good job clearing out most of the structure gunk. Just have to do it the old-fashioned way for the rest of it. Man, this thing is really good at clearing out uh, the plasma stuff. I guess it does have three of them, whereas the other ones only have one, so makes sense. Oh, your attacks are meaningless. <laughs> That's cool. Oh man, I can just absorb everything, no problem. Alright, these guys forward. Up, so they can get in range of whatever the hell that is. Okay. Clear some more of this out. <laughs> uh, for being such a useless ship design, it's actually pretty useful. But, but still. Kind of sad that it doesn't have a bunch of guns strapped to that, but really they just get destroyed and then I'd feel bad about ramming it into things. So I guess it's probably for the best. Alright, need micro tanker. You guys go here. Back. And, oh yeah, 
forgot, I set up my grabber. Seems to have done its job here in the middle. Forget about repairing the gunk, build the damn energy mine. Can you not build it while the ship is there? Alright, there we go. Um, let's see, so it looks like we won't have our little uh, benign particle nuke here. Have to plow right in with this guy. I mean, we also have our particles coming in, so we have some form of backup. Alright, you guys should be in range to zap that from behind him. Yeah. Oh man, this is great. Big ass meat shield. Man, this thing also just slows them down to a like dead standstill. Oh, look at that, they're not moving at all just from this thing zapping it with these little beams. That's pretty great. Although he's not getting repaired anymore. I need the micro tanker to move up here. There we go. Back there. You're not doing anything. Get over here. Hmm. Yeah, he's still in range of the micro tanker. Right. Oh, he's in range. Oh, fuck, he got killed. Couldn't tank all of that, I guess. you over here because these things seem to be on a pretty set pattern yeah for whatever reason these don't uh, seem to go all oh, fuck, ran out of energy top them off there we go okay hammer is being rebuilt this micro tanker that's great Same with the hammer. It's funny, like the, the the ships with like the least firepower are the most useful. <laughs> Wouldn't think I'd ever say something like that, but there we go. Look at this. No more plasma. Gone. It's like a fucking cleaning crew with this thing. <laughs> All right, take that out. Let's charge up our nuke thing. And there it goes. Boom. Oh, that is so cool. Huh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna be lazy. Fly around right here. Might need the micro tanker though. Yeah, that one doesn't even have a. Oh, you fucking dumbass! Oh my god. Okay, well, uh, I tried to be lazy and it failed horribly. Okay, let's try that again. Good. Jesus. Alright, crew, admiral job. As we have journeyed deeper into redacted space, we have encountered an increasing threat and more mysteries, but we now have a solid lead on solving many of these mysteries. Indeed, our mission priority is to find and collect more info caches so we can reconstruct the data archive. That data... That archive very likely contains a trove of answers. Yes, Director Ogan, if we are lucky, a big gun too. Well, I can't complain about big guns. Alright, well this, uh, this structure digitalis wannabe stuff is interesting. Mission 
eight. Oh, Jesus. That looks rough. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do it in 15 minutes, because that's about how much time we have left to have a reasonable video length. See, I'm almost disappointed that they have these animated thumbnails of the mission because it's like it kind of gives you, like it gives it gives away what's gonna happen. Like um, the first time we got our own particles, I already knew about it because of the thumbnail. Like we went into the mission, and it's like, okay, where are my particles? Whereas it being a you know like a surprise in the mission itself, it's like it, the thumbnail spoiled it. Um, so I think I would change that. But other than that, still having a blast with this. Um, so I think we're going to tackle this one um, in the next episode, as they certainly have been getting uh, longer. Um, so uh, we'll uh, tackle this when we come back. So thank you all for watching. And we will see you in the next one when we return with more Particle Fleet Emergence.